Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and uh, I'm just having a quick look today at my Chinese um, gooseberry, or Chinese kiwi berry, whichever you want to call it, Chinese, they used to be called Chinese gooseberries, they call them kiwi berries now, or kiwi fruit. Now this is the variety Actinidia arguta isai, which is the small uh, grape sized fruit that's hairless, you can eat the whole fruit. Um, now the reason I've got this particular variety, which is now going to be in its third summer, you can see how well it's covered the fence, is it's meant to be self fertile and also being a smaller fruit you don't need such hot summers to get decent uh, a decent amount of fruit on it now last year it did actually have about five or six flowers appear on it so i'm hoping that as it's been triggered into flowering last year by hormonal development in the plant that it should get a lot more flowers this year but now middle of march is danger time for them because as you can see or should be able to see if it's in focus is I've got a fair number of buds breaking out on this plant. Now these are, <coughs> excuse me, these are very sensitive to early season frosts and obviously we regularly get frosts here well into March and April and even occasionally into May. <coughs> so last year um, the plant shooted out quite nicely at the end of March, beginning of April, but unfortunately we got quite heavy frost and it burnt all the young stems, which set it back a few weeks, and that might have been why it didn't flower much last year. Sorry for any uh, tall noises in the background, by the way. So I'm hoping that the cool weather stops this shooting out any more for the time being because um, I don't really want it to be growing properly until April because it's a bit of a nuisance to try and it's no easy way to protect it on the fence because obviously the fence is sort of eight feet tall and I can't can't easily protect it from frost I'm hoping it's not going to come out into bud too early and I'm not going to lose all the shoots to frost like I did last year but um, we'll see what we'll see what happens there's not much you can do it's uh, what happens happens it's nature but um, I thought you might be interested anybody who's trying to grow these themselves that's uh, the, uh, the kiwi berry rather than the normal hairy one it's a smooth one and that's Actinidia arguta isai which is meant to be partially self fertile so I don't need a second plant so thanks everybody for watching the video please remember to uh, give me a thumbs up share it with anyone you think might be interested obviously subscribe to my channel and remember that if you do hit the bell I'll try and give you updates on this and my other plants on videos as they come out catch up with you soon Brett out for now